Hi guys, welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. Today we're going to play around with some Lost Monarch. I have a few Lost Monarchs in my collection. But we're not playing with any of these. We're playing with some samples that were sent to me by you guys of the three different Lost Monarch Haystack Needles. Now the Haystack Needles are barrel proof blends of bourbons and ryes that were then finished in different wine finishes. So we have Cabernet, Port, and Chardonnay. Now these were sent to me by Robert Lutz and Melanie Carron. I, I don't know how to say that name. Car, Car, Karen Caron. Anyway, thank you, Robert. Thank you, Melanie. So appreciate it. So let's dive right in. Now I've been debating on if I should start with the Chardonnay or with the Cab. I think I'm going to start with the Chardonnay. Just because, I don't know. Seems it would be the lightest. Port would be the heaviest. Let's just start with Chardonnay and see what happens. Oh. That's so nice. Oh. Round. Gorgeous. Gorgeous bourbon. Gorgeous rye. Melon. Nice oak. Now these are all 12 years old. Um, 110 proof. 110. Oh, I think they're all 110. They're all 12 years old. Gorgeous sweet oak. Nothing spiky, nothing's big. It's just round, beautiful, fruity, sweet. Oh, Chardonnay has a gorgeous nose. Let's smell the cab. My personal favorite wine is Cabernet. Or Petit Syrah, but mostly Cabernet. Oh, darker, a little richer. Um, I got cinnamon toast with like melted butter. Like, but really nice, creamy Irish butter, like nice. Super fruity, super sweet. Uh, a little bit of creme brulee. Mm. A little more pungent, a little thicker. A little more robust. Oh, I smell the port. It's important that we smell the port. Welch's grape jelly or jam, whatever. Jelly jam, what's the difference? Preserves. Peanut butter on a nice chunky bread sweet fresh oak you just cut a tree down you smell the stump mm. gorgeous rye note thick right up the middle oof okay okay let's taste the chardonnay Dry. You get a wave of notes and then it just subsides. Goes into a medium length finish. The rye shows forward. <clears throat> the oak. Definitely shows forward. A lot of that fruitiness 
that's on the nose just doesn't translate to the palate. And then it goes off into oak bitter and really, really dry. And huh, whimper. The, the, the nose is far better than the palate. It's a shame. The nose had so much promise. Okay, Cabernet. Okay. The fruit translates to the mouthfeel. Mm, it's like having, you just took a mouthful of grapes. Beautiful rye. Mid palate kind of sags. You don't get a lot. You get a, a second little, little hump of flavor on the back of the palate and then it goes off into your finish. Finish is sweet wood less of the wood bitter here right in the middle of the palate it kind of hollows out there's a something missing <clears throat> there's a nice flash of spice right in the beginning of the palate then there is a hollowed out part where it's just empty and then you get another little wave of, of, of rye and corn and sweetness. And then it goes into the finish. I prefer this over the Cabernet, or the Chardonnay, excuse me. I prefer the Cab over the Chardonnay. Let's go to the Laporte. Go lay down. Nobody invited you. Do you want to be in my video? Come here. Come here. Nobody can see you down there. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come here. Nobody can see you down there. Come on. Oh, the port smells good. Oh. The, the port hits you with big notes. Big, dark fruit. Plummy. It's fuller. There isn't that hollow in the middle of the palate. It just stays true. Oh. Hint of chocolate on the nose. Tiny, tiny hint. After tasting it. The rye shows up again. The the nose is, is keeps evolving. It just keeps changing after you've tasted it. Mmm. Okay. Okay. All three have beautiful noses. Beautiful noses. The port is the only one that backs up the nose with an incredible palate. The finish is still going. It's got a rising spice in the chest where the others dissipated off into oblivion. The port comes back for you comes back and there's a whole rising heat and 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 spice in the chest huh yeah the port gives you a little bit of that oak bitter on the front of the palate but it's mouth-watering, and that, that oak bitter um, is balanced well with the really fruity, plummy, dark fruit that hits you there on the palate. Mmm. Port's my favorite. Out of these three, port's my favorite. Now, how does that compare to plain old... Redwood Empire of Lost Monarch. Woo! Oh, yeah! Dang! Lost Monarch gives you a pure, over the top, sweet, gorgeous. Can you not? 
Rhino. That is just something that I love. I think they could have um, leaned a little heavier on their rye casks in the haystack needles, in the blend. Um, they're great. They're all great, but I prefer the port. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, have a great day.